In this short video, I will be going over all of the recent PvP and co-op information that we have received from the lead network multiplayer programmer, David Romanowski. You can directly invite or set a password to co-op with your friends. A vestige, which is Lords of the Fallen's version of a bonfire, can also be used to either host or join a game. Only the host game will progress in co-op. However, the other player will still get to keep certain items, levels, achievements, and currencies that they earn with the host. The last selectable option of vestiges is appropriately named Slaughter Lamp Bearer. If you pick this option, you will invade another player's world at one of the game's specific invasion zones. There is also an in-game reporting system, as well as the option to play offline. Lords of the Fallen supports crossplay from PC to both PS5 and Xbox Series S, but unfortunately not between the two consoles, and there is also currently no cross-progression. Online sessions are limited to one invader, but defeating other players will result in achievements and special in-game currency that can be used to buy cosmetics. Although online sessions are limited to one invader, the invader will not be completely alone, as the AI-controlled enemies will ally and cooperate with them in an attempt to beat the host. There is no 1v1 arena, but if two players enter the same password, and one enters an invasion zone, the other player is guaranteed to invade that same zone. Doing PvP with this method will not provide the same rewards as other random PvP invasions. Invasions can also be temporarily disabled with the use of a consumable item that can be purchased from a vendor. This item is called Mirror of Protection. Allies only have one life, and if beaten are set to spectator mode until the host can revive them from where they died. This is not a fast process, but it is also not the only option. A host can also revive their fallen allies quicker by using a nearby vestige instead. Doing online activities will give players unique items that can be offered at the Radiant, Rogar, and Umbral Fraction Shrines. These offerings unlock armor sets, or tinks, that can be used to change the color of your character's outfit. There is also unique content that can be unlocked for everyone if the worldwide player base reaches specific thresholds of offerings. While playing offline, Fraction Shrines are disabled. There is one more online feature that I have left till last, as it is unrelated to co-op and PvP. The Revenge System. Most Soulsborne games have a feature called Bloodstains. These Bloodstains are left from where previous online players have died. However, in Lords of the Fallen you can find the lamps of defeated players and interact with them. Doing so will result in a trail of moths, leading you to the enemy responsible for the player's death. And if you defeat this enemy, you will be rewarded with offerings that can be used at Umbral Shrines. I am currently trying to join Lords of the Fallen's creator initiative and make content during early access of the game, so please consider following as a minimum of 250 followers is required to apply. And thank you for watching.